In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Change of venue this morning, I'm across. You'll see I've finally got a green stall. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. There grew a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes, son of King Antiochus, once a hostage in Rome. He became king in the 137th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. It was then that was emerged from Israel a set of renegades who led many people astray. Come, they said, let us reach an understanding with the pagans surrounding us. For since we separated ourselves from them, many misfortunes have overtaken us. This proposal proved acceptable, and a number of the people eagerly approached the king, who authorised them to practice the pagan observances. So they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem, such as the pagans have, disguised their circumcision, and abandoned the holy covenant, submitting to the heathen rule as willing slaves of impiety. Then the king issued a proclamation to his whole kingdom that all to have become a single people, each renouncing his particular customs. All the pagans conformed to the king's de decree and many Israelites cho chose to accept his religion, sacrificing to idols and profaning the Sabbath. The king erected the abomination of desolation above the altar and altars were built in the surrounding towns of Judah and incense offered at the doors of houses and in the streets. Any books of the law that came to light were turn, torn up and burned. When any one was discovered possessing a copy of the covenant or practising the law, the king's decree sentenced him to death. Yet there were many in Israel who stood firm and found the courage to refuse unclean food. They chose death rather than contamination by such fare or profanation of the Holy Covenant, and they were executed. It was a dreadful wrath that visited Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. I am seized with indignation at the wicked who forsake your law. Though the nets of the wicked ensnared me, I remembered your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. Redeem me from man's oppression, and I will keep your precepts. Those who harm me unjustly draw near, they are far from your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. Salvation is far from the wicked, who are heedless of your statutes. I look at the faithless with disgust, they ignore your promise. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus drew near to Jericho, there was a blind man sitting at the side of the road begging. When he heard the crowd going past, he asked what it was all about and they told him that Jesus the Nazarene was passing by. So he called out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people in front scolded him and told him to keep quiet, but he shouted all the louder, son of David, have pity on me. 
Jesus stopped and ordered them to bring the man to him. And when he came up, asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Sir, he replied, Let me see again. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. And instantly his sight returned, and he followed him, praising God. And all the people who saw it gave praise to God for what had happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God of heaven. Wash away, O Lord, my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thanks very much for joining me for Mass. Take care. Bye, God bless, and see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.